all right guys welcome back uh so another you know back at it out at the range again today uh with a comparison of what are these compacts compacts yeah. glock 19 and the shadow systems mr 920 right essentially they are the same gun yeah um looking at them i can see minute differences but yeah it's it's a glock clone that's what i'm told a more expensive glock clone it that it is we'll see when we shoot and stuff if it's really somewhere you want to head yeah i guess yeah so remember these are just the compact so we'll go over them real quick we'll shoot them real quick and then we'll kind of talk about them after that so let's get to the explanation all right all right guys here they are so side by side this is what they look like honestly they actually use glock mags both of them use glock mags this just happens to be a mag pool but it still it, it fits in either gun so again right off the top they're exactly the same they're shaped pretty much the same um when we bought the shadow systems this is actually my wife's casey's this is her everyday carry right now um i'm still with the glock 19 um the frames are almost identical. I could actually take the slide off the MR920 and put it on the Glock 19 frame, straight out. Um, what I will say, the Shadow Systems is more or less the upgraded version. So, that said, I paid $500 for my Gen 4 Glock 19 six years ago, five years ago, and we bought the MR920 about four months ago for $920. Now, that being said, if you look at the MR920, it's actually already got the slides cut. It already has the weight reduction. It already has the serrations. It has it has a lot of cool stuff on it. Don't get me wrong. Um, this one actually has a threaded barrel on the end of it. It's got it's a fluted barrel. It's a really tricked out Glock, for lack of a better term. That said, I've actually priced out what it would take to actually have my slides cut because i actually just have a dovetail in here that i want to get rid of i promise um but i've looked at having the slides cut having the vent holes or the lightning holes put in there had the slides cut the serrations put in looking at a new barrel and i'm looking at about another 400 dollars um to do all that so 500 dollars for the base gun plus 400 for the upgrades or 900 for ready to walk out the door that's pretty much where the comparison's in there there is another one what am i missing and it's a blatant so on the glock you have you have to add a magwell this one actually does have an added magwell it, it was it added with to it. it it came with it you're okay. right you're right you're very right it did and the grip length is slightly longer and on the shadow it's flat on the front whereas glock it has the preformed finger grooves that not everybody likes yeah um one other thing i forgot in that is the triggers so this is actually more or less an apex trigger this is not it's not branded that way it is a shadow systems but it is modeled after the apex trigger so it's a lot flatter trigger face than the glocks are and again that's actually something i want to get rid of too on this one that is one thing that i will change at some point in time is the trigger because they're rounded not only up and down but left and right um so similarities is the word i was looking for earlier that's where the similarities end that's where you get to we did get okay. the magwell added um the uh mag, release. mag releases they're similar they're actually both changeable you can put them on the left side it's just the way the mag releases because if you look at the mags they've actually got the clips on both sides so um again for the money you're you're spending about the same money depending on which way you go very basic glock you add everything to it you now have the shadow systems mr920 yeah and another upgrade that i can see um because you had to go with the dovetail but while running your optic you're able to co-witness because it has the uh taller sights i'm not sure they're quite uh suppressor height sights maybe with it being a uh threaded barrel one day we'll find out also you have uh the green front sight versus a white oh yeah the night sights which yeah 
I had to pull them off for this one. But again, those are replaceable too. So you could add those on there. I think I've seen them for as cheap as $30 and expensive as $90 for front and rear um, night sights, green night sights. So, all right. But that's pretty much the gist of these. Um, again, the main reason we're comparing these is this is what we have available to compare. Um, like I said, this is my wife. This is mine. These are actually what we carry every day. Um, I sent my wife with her SIG today, so that way I could actually make the video today. <laughs> well, so let's go hit bang buttons and see how we feel about the differences. Let's do it to it. Okay, so we did that. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Considering I've shot this 19 this Glock 19 for years now, I I don't know. I actually really don't like it. The more that I shoot other pistols, I don't like my Glock. I that's weird to say. I, that's bad to say honestly, but the the more I shoot other stuff, whether it be the subcompacts, compacts, full size, whatever, the more I shoot anything else, the more I don't like the Glock, to be completely honest. Now, this Shadow Systems is nice. It's a really touchy trigger, but it's super smooth, though. Okay, and I mean, I can understand that. Um, I'm the same way with more rifles than pistols because, well, I mean, like you, I'm self-taught when it comes to a pistol you know watch some videos get some basic ideas and then make it work for me um yeah i i like the shadow systems better i guess honestly short of the trigger i don't really notice a whole lot of difference um minus two the same thing just different so on this with the grip for me my hands aren't massive by any means but i feel my hand pinched with the magwell on yeah whereas with the glock the thing i've never liked about glock is the finger deals because <laughs> my fingers don't fit in them right i one finger a right a little high one rides in it right you know that's but I've always had that issue with Glock. I am definitely a more front, uh, smooth front guy than anything. However, I did shoot the Shadow Systems way better. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was funny when you shot this. She's like, oh, super uh, touchy trigger. Yeah. And in comparison to the Glock, it is. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I got one. I wasn't I wasn't lined up, nothing, and I, it hit, it barely hit that reset and it went again. Yeah. So luckily we're safe on the range, you know, Yeah, down. We, we had it all down range. I was ready. I was just trying to get my sight pictures all I was yeah. trying to do and it just wasn't we, exactly where you want to be. Yep, got ahead on of me. On target, just not on the target exactly. that you wanted of it. But yeah, I mean, like you said to upgrade the Glock to get to 
where the shadow systems is you're going to be in the money anyway so we're known for jeeps and doing jeep things it's kind of the same thing do you spend the money up front mm -hmm. and buy the rubicon the rubicon <laughs> or do you spend less money and buy the sport and then upgrade it as you go mm -hmm. i think it's gonna in this comparison it would honestly depend on your budget yeah what you have to go spend now yeah now with all guns i say uh, i am a huge proponent of at least for your first gun if it's going to be your first gun buy the basics buy a strip you know a glock put you a red dot on it spin that other i would say don't put the learn learn your sights if, if you're starting i would say learn your sights okay but i'm just saying especially for new shooters who aren't confident in what they're doing handling it even a little confidence boost a red dot does go a long way. Mm -hmm. That and is. I would rather everybody in the world carry a red dot and be 100% confident than have iron sights and be mostly confident. Yeah, I can because see that. if that gun has to come out, I want a guy, especially if I'm the one who's in danger and he's shooting in my direction, I want him to be 100 per him or her to be 100% confident in what they're doing. But regardless whether you put the red dot on it or not, because you know, we didn't even talk about how much red dots are. <laughs> and did your this one come with a red dot? Nope. No? Nope. So, yeah, on top of that $900, you spent X amount on the Hollow Sun. They are $399 for the X2s with the green dot, and they are still $299 for the X2s that are the red. Okay, so, we'll, so we're saying there's a $100 difference in the site, plus there's a... So you're talking $500 difference between the two guns. Take that $500, buy some ammo, go to the range, get comfortable with your firearm and use it, abuse it, find out what it can and can't do, then upgrade. Yeah. It, I love this gun. I, I would, as a more experienced shooter, I would definitely buy it, but as a more inexperienced shooter, I would definitely go with something more bare bones, save my money, get some sort of training. This is coming from somebody who has spent the better part of 12 years teaching himself to shoot a piece, a pistol decently. I mean, granted, once I jumped up to a red dot, I could shoot it a whole lot better. But the military taught me to shoot everything but a pistol. I can shoot machine guns and sniper rifles and <laughs> 50 cals and grenade launchers. I've qualified expert with all of those. Pistol, first time I went to the range, I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Okay. And I, I just, I wasn't confident in it. So yeah. Um, great gun. Great gun. Glocks, however, if you're scared of cleaning them, they are dishwasher safe, supposedly. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't tried that one yet. And because we all watch the movies and see the things, they do make little bushings that go into them to where they can fire underwater. I'm not sure I want to be doing that, but, you know, if your your pistol does drop in the water and you have to pick it up and shoot it immediately, it allows it to drain out and it don't hide your lock after the first round. Um, SEAL teams and special forces and all of them use them. When I had my Glock 17, I bought them. They was like a 10 or $15 upgrade. It was super easy. But yeah, my opinion out of our comparison and what we did today, 100%. I, I love the trigger feel. The only thing for me, if it was mine, I'd remove the Magwell and, you know, Charlie Mike, continue mission move on whatever <laughs> however you need to hear the words so all right well that works um like i said i probably have to agree with that i, I really like that shadow systems 
My wife absolutely loves it. Um, she shot it several times, and I, she's never even looked back at her at her Glock 19 because we actually had we had matching ones. Um, she's Aww. never she's never even looked back at it. As a matter of fact, I think it's sitting in the dresser. <laughs> Man, so, it hasn't even made it to the gun room. No, it, it really got moved down the totem pole. <laughs> it did. So, anywho, all right. So that's it for this one, guys. Did you have anything else? No anything added ones. No. Uh, I will say this. Go out and shoot. Go out and shoot. Get that trigger time. Be confident in whatever you carry, especially if you carry. Yes, most certainly. But have fun. Yeah. Um, look out. We're gonna do a subcompact. Uh, comparison next um so just keep an eye out for it yeah. next friday or the friday after whichever well, wherever it comes in well like we said our timelines are pew pew videos are gonna be just kind of sprinkled in here and there it you know get a little bit of everything but until then we'll see you next time bye bye guys